Spirits, it's Jazzy, your favorite Cali reader. This is going to be your portion of the um, six six new moon portal, <laughs> six six portal new moon um, reading. Okay, so highly, highly, highly recommend watching the collective reading first that I will be posting first um, because this that I'm doing, um, the specific message that I'm doing for all the signs is going to be your message as it pertains to. I like as it corresponds to the collective messages how it plays a part in your specific sign okay so that's why you're going to want to watch that reading first um i'm just splitting them up like this because it would have made one really really long video and um then the timing it would have took to upload that video it just it will be defeat the purpose of me getting this out as soon as possible so that's why i'm splitting them into individual um videos for you guys okay so hope y'all are doing well Okay. Hope you guys have set your intentions and are, you know, really looking forward to what this portal energy has to offer. All right. So first out, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay. So for some of you, um, Leos, this energy here, this attachment, this boundaries that some of you are being asked to have, and it could be like, you know, was stated in the collective message. This, if this is somebody that's trying to reconcile with you, that you'll know who this is because this person, um, I feel like has a hard time committing. They may be attached to you sexually on a sexual level. Um, obviously, it's not going to be for everyone, but for some of you, that's what this this person is representing is someone in your experience that is attached to you, but in a sexual nature. They're not, you know, it's not heart based or um, with pure intent. It's strictly sexual based, based on your sacral chakra, which is your chakra of emotion, your chakra of um, creativity, of creation. Okay. So, you know, I'd be mindful of anyone trying to come back into your experience in that energy. Okay. Like if they, if you know, look what I say, <laughs> this is someone who I feel like some of you have rejected before. And if they're returning, they haven't changed. The, the energy I'm getting with this is this is a person that I feel like for some of you, Leos is someone that you're, that is returning strictly to, it's like the universe's way of seeing, have you learned your lesson? Are you ready to really go to the next level of your life? Are you really ready to step into the next phase okay um by setting boundaries with this person okay and and for some of you that what i'm also what also just came if this has nothing to do for those of you that, that that this has nothing to do with the actual person for some of you this has to do with your own personal experience meaning some of you have an attachment or meaning that you're still thinking about past experiences that didn't work be it around um love be it around um career a project something that you try to put out that you you maybe committed yourself to that didn't work some of you um, may have experienced some form of rejection where maybe a job turns you down or uh, a brand turns you down or whatever that might be, a client, you know, whatever. And it's something that some of you are really, really passionate about, but some of you are still holding on to the past experience of what didn't work or um, how it didn't go how you wanted it to or how you thought it would. Or it's like, I feel like for some of you, it's like something that you, there's, it feels like in your mind, at least how it makes sense to you is there was no reason this should have not worked. There's no reason that this shouldn't have gone the way I wanted it to go. But yet still somehow it went left. That's because it wasn't the right time. Universe only gives us three answers. Yes, not right now, or there's something better, okay? The universe never tells us no. So I feel like for some of you, it's it feels like it's one of the two. Obviously take it as it resonates, it's not gonna be for all of you, but this, this feels um, very specific in that nature as well. That just came through on the tail end of this being about someone from your past, someone that some of you, when this person comes back, they're still in this non-committal type of energy. They're, it's like their way of trying to just see, you know, like, have you forgotten about me? I'm still hiding in the shadows. I haven't changed. I don't want it. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to change. <laughs> I don't want to be different, but I, I still want to be in your experience. I still want to, you know, um, benefit off of the healing you've done, right? They're not going to tell you that though, right? So it feels like some of you, this is someone that you're going to need to be setting boundaries with Leo that 
um, has disappointed you in the past, someone that maybe has rejected you in the past, they haven't changed because they're still in the energy of not healing, meaning they're going to reject you because they haven't, um, they, they haven't accepted their self. They can't give you what they don't have. So if someone rejects you, it's because they're, they're really rejecting a part of themselves that you are mirroring to them. Okay. And, and I feel like that's kind of like a heads up for some of you. Okay. So let's see. One more for Leo. Yeah, it's like this person thinks you're naive. They think that you're that you're look, this person's immature. Okay. Page of um page of wands, knight of wands, okay, fiery energy. So this could be another fire sign for some of you. Um, but others of you, like I said, if this has to do with a more personal individual type of thing, this has to do with um this is about starting allowing yourself to start over by way of releasing whatever you're still holding on to from the past, whatever didn't work before, okay? Reconnecting to yourself in such a way that allows you to move forward while simultaneously leaving the past behind, leaving it exactly where it is, knowing and trusting that you've learned the lesson, you've gained perspective, and you've gained from it what you needed to, to where you can start over brand new, but not from scratch, from experience. Trusting and knowing that anything you have to learn going forward, it's like you're being a kid again. And and I, and I don't mean in a sense of obviously not childish and not of, of um, naivety, not from pure, you know, start, not from like ground zero. But it's like taking the wisdom you've learned and implementing it in like a new way. That's what this feels like. So however this resonates with you though, Leo, okay? At the bottom here, we have the um, high priestess, okay? So this is about following your intuition. It's also about hidden information, hidden knowledge, okay? So that's why it's important for some of you, um, no matter how this resonates with you, to follow your intuition. Even if your intuition is telling you that this isn't your message, listen to that, okay? Because it's not going to be for everyone. That is what the personal readings are for. It's more geared towards your personal um, experience. And if you're feeling so called, please reach out for that, okay? Otherwise... This is about following your intuition. If this is about a person who, like I said, is still in this non-committal type of energy that you're needing to reject, that you know is going to just disappoint you again, this is your indication where they're wanting a brand new start. And this is your spirit telling you, you know, telling you that this person maybe still has other attachments that they're going to bring on to you if you don't set healthy boundaries with this person. Okay. So it's going to be up to you to really, and this could be something that this person is hiding. That is why your intuition, I feel like for some of you is nudging you and telling you something just don't feel right. This person feels like a, a heaviness to them. That's because of the attachments that's they, that they're still holding on to that will easily, can easily latch to you if you allow yourself to vibrate on that same frequency. You become then a susceptible host. That is how people catch viruses. It's not being sick. It's spiritual, okay? Meaning if your vessel is open for the spirit to house, okay, it's going to do that. It's going to do just that, okay? So um, high priestess with the eight of wands, okay? So this is something coming in very quickly, okay? This could be this person, all right? And that could be why for some of you, this may be coming in as like a heads up to get ready to turn them down and just be like, nope, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'm not desperate. I won't settle, okay? Some of you, this is going to happen very quickly and you're going to need to make a decision. Um, some of you, the decision is going to be to set boundaries and know that you deserve more and you can have more, okay? It's going to be up to you though. It's going to be personal and different to all of you. So let me um, get a quick message of advice from your ancestors your reading so far is the longest that was not the intention but <laughs> it is what it is so let's get a quick message of advice from your benevolent ancestors for my leos what is the advice for leo hmm ending part 52 another seven so for those of you that have watched the collective reading we talked about the sevens how the sevens keep coming up so for some of you you could be 52 years old and you may be feeling like at this age you know I might as well, you know, if they want to fix it, I might as well because I'm too old to get something better or do something different. That's not true. That's a limitation. It's a limiting belief that you may be telling yourself. And that could be for some of you what this attachment is about that you're needing to detach yourself from is what used to be and what has been to know that, you know, if you always do what you did, you're always going to get what you got. Okay. So for some of you, this is about maybe instead of trying to mend things with someone else, mend them with yourself reconnect to your your own self okay however that um applies to you anything else 
for Leo's for advice. I also feel like this is giving me energy of mending your inner child. Okay. Um, look, the changes in the wind. Yeah. Some things, things are definitely changing. They're definitely shifting. And that's why it feels like this is, you know, kind of letting you know to trust your intuition. If you feel like somebody that's coming back to you hasn't changed, trust that, follow that. If you feel guided to turn someone down, to turn them away, to reject them, to pass up on an offer, do that. Okay. Because what that's going to do is that's going to help you restore and rebuild trust with your higher self and not only your higher self but your inner child because that's who we're really protecting is the inner child giving yourself that protection that you may not have had as a child a lot of us didn't right including myself so this is what i feels like some of you are being guided to follow your intuition about this it may come in quick this person may want to work with you they may want to you know collaborate with you they may try to move things along very quickly for their benefit don't let that happen okay this is a time to make a judgment call. Some of you, this is an awakening that you're going through and you're seeing something in a different light. You're seeing something that was maybe once hidden from you. You're seeing it very clearly because your intuition is telling you, it's locking it in for you with that third eye right there. It's like your third eye is wide open on, on a situation. Don't ignore that, okay? So that's what I have for you, Leo. I hope this is helpful. Until next time, you guys. Bye.